Right, well, I'm going to show you very quickly my latest little project. And my latest little project is collecting water. The water that comes from the sky, which is free. And several years ago now, I bought these big juice barrels. Got them really cheap. I don't know, a couple of quid. And I bought loads, ten or more, thinking, well, you know, they will be useful. They're always useful. Um, so you can... I've had them tipped on the side and ducks have used them as nest boxes. I've cut a couple in half to use as big planters. But I've still got plenty. Um, and this is what I've been doing. So, big juice barrels. And then... Let's have a look what we've got here. See if I can find. Ugh, you have to excuse the mess. I've been working. Here we go. It's called a bell pot. It's two ninety nine from uh, Pound Stretcher. Two ninety nine from Pound Stretcher. And basically, they come like that, and you poke or drill out these three things for drainage, like so. Um, here's one I did earlier, so I've poked out the three. Um, but for my new project, I need more drainage, so I did another four. So you get your juice barrel. And with a hole saw, you drill a hole to fit I can find them to fit a barrel tap so I used I think that one no that one's too big have I got it still? oh here we go it's all a bit disorganised so I've used that diameter that diameter, which is the same as that, it's the same as that. So with this hole saw from Screwfix, you drill a hole in your barrel, somewhere down the bottom, you fit your tap in. It's got a nut. With a washer so you put the tap part there and you go inside and you screw it tight with the nut so there's your tap so that's a water butt with a tap now these have got lids but i don't need the lids and i don't need the lids because just... sorry this is going to be one-handed again Ah, that's why I don't need the lids. I've taken all the, I've unscrewed the lids and I should keep them, they'll be used for something. So that's that, that's that. That's dented, but it doesn't matter. So then what you do, you've put your tap on, you've got your 2 99 pot from Pound Stretcher, uh, you've drilled your extra drainage holes, then Get something like a cinder block, which is a very lightweight building block. I mean, it's very, very light. Uh, and smash it up and then fill about one third with, with cinder block, broken cinder block. And then another third with vermiculite, both lightweight and free draining, which is what you want. And then the final third you fill up with compost. And then into that... Let the car go past. There you go. Uh, and then into that compost, which is about three, four inches worth of compost, you can plant um, tomatoes, you can plant lettuces, you can plant herbs, you can plant flowers. So instead of just a water butt, you've actually got something. And you don't use it with a downpipe. Basically, what you need is 
just the end of a drain pipe if you've got any spare guttering end of guttering um, and then the water just flows into that and it washes your flowers and then it seeps through and then it goes into your water butt and if I can get past the dogs without tripping I shall show you what it looks like because I just finished this one uh. what are you doing dogs? on these raised beds yeah. so the water butt the tap's been put on one third compost and I've planted orange scented thyme Something else, oregano, I think. I put geranium in there. There you go. And that just runs in there, through there. And the other thing is my raised beds. I'm too old to dig. This used to be an Avery block. That used to be a big cage, it's on its back. There we have two ex-rabbit hutches on their backs. With, I think they're courgettes or cucumbers to grow up the wire. And again, squashes, cucumbers, courgettes, which will grow up the wire. Tomatoes are in there. Tomatoes in old car tires. Tomatoes in a large indoor rabbit cage being protected from the dogs jumping on them because this is what happens the dogs knock them over strawberries in a shop display for bread quiet half a barrel half a juice barrel with a squash plant, a bucket with a squash plant, an old crate and that is a fridge freezer believe it or not. It worked, I didn't need it, I advertised it, nobody wanted it. So I tipped it on its back, took out the shelves and it's become an insulated raised bed and I've got French beans sewn into there so there'll be more germinating and there's the barrel